Well, hello everybody. It's Leanne Greff with today's live video. And as you can see, I have a whole lot of projects right here in front of me. I'll explain that in just a minute. Um, let me know you're watching. Let me know you're here. Um, I'll welcome you and hope that um, you enjoy and get inspired by today's class. I have a few projects and a few more to share and some cool ideas um, for, yeah, I don't know, you'll see, you'll, you'll see. I have a lot of ideas to share with you. So I'm just waiting for my laptop to sync up here. Let's see if I can get that going so I can, I don't always, um, there we go. Um, can't always watch all the comments while we're, while I'm stamping because I get quite distracted and get right into my project. So, but I will answer questions afterwards if I miss yours. Okay, so what I have here is a bunch of kits because they just announced that our kit collections are going on sale August 1st through the 31st. That's the special for August. And they're up to 30% off and they're already a fabulous deal. And I thought I'd just share a few of them that I've finished. Now, sometimes I change the greetings because I use a lot of thank you cards. So, um, yeah, I'll share this one. This is our newest one. This is Blossom Wishes and they are slimline cards. I think I shared them before and they have a little bit of that um, foil, like uh, Orchid Oasis foil in them. So um, they're, yeah, they're, they're huge. This, this second one, um, this larger, longer one is huge, but they are a no stamping kit. So in our card kits, we have some that do not need stamping and some that do, and this is one that does not. So this is the Blossom Wishes, our newest one, $13 for let's see, eight cards. And these would be fabulous gifts for anybody who just, who loves cards or who um, just wants to create, who's crafty. So if you want a, a cool gift, you, this would be a great one um, for somebody who doesn't need anything. It's all in there. The most you'll need, I believe, is like a scissors. So so that's one. Then we have, let's see, I, I don't know the name of this one. I should find it, but this is another one with a lot of foil accents. And again, I may have switched up the greetings just because I um, I just can't remember if these are from the kit or not, but they always include envelopes. This one has a stamp set. This one is another, oh, and I can't remember, um, Sending Smiles maybe is the name of this kit. So very, very colorful. And this is a thank you kit. So this one is another non-stamping kit for 13. And this is another one here. And I change up the greetings to, to be thank you cards. So foil accents, this is called Forever Friends. So I believe they're on 21 to 23 when they include a block, um, ink, and a stamp set. So these will all be, I believe all of them will be on sale, I'm not sure. Now these are while supplies last. They say that they will be available around a year. This is the many um, kits that we have available. I mean, I, I print them out for my customers, my, my classes, so they can look and order and I, I give them the item numbers. But the only way to see these really is in the online store. So you can see there is a ton of kits. Some are craft kits, some are card kits. So be sure to check those out and you can even look at them now so you can maybe start a list and then you can get them on sale after August 1st. So while I'm talking about the specials, here are the current specials or, and then the kits there. Bonus days and Monday. So we have six days left. For every $50 you spend, you get a $5 coupon to redeem in August. So that's really cool. So how many of you are going to get um, a $5 coupon to use in August? Just um, say me, 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 <laughs> if you have any coupons to redeem. And how you, how you get those is once you place an order over $50 with Stampin' Up! before tax and shipping, you will get a, a code to use in, um, in August through your email. So, so yeah, that is how you get the code. And then when you're placing your order, there's a little coupon code spot before you complete your order. So, so yeah, that's always um, a great time, to a great deal to get $5 off. 
Okay, what else is happening? Let's do door prizes. Okay, so last week I decided to do a prize of these. Let's see, they're called adhesive back studs and then the ready to ride designer paper, which I had extra of. So this is really cool paper with the uh, black and gray foil and then the colorful kind of manly type not all men, but motorcycles and tools and things like that. So, so the winners, drum roll, and I think one of them is already watching. Judy, no, this is Julie. I'm sorry, this should be Julie Luchabowski and Sharon Rowland. So Sharon won the designer paper and Julie, should be Julie, <laughs> won the gems. So thank you so much. At least I think it's Julie. I'm not sure it's Julie. I think I misprinted that. So congratulations, gals. Thank you so much for sharing my videos and commenting on them. I really appreciate that. So the prizes for this week is for sharing, you um, will receive, if your name is drawn, I'm sorry, for commenting, is one of my glue stands. So it works perfectly for our Tombow multi-purpose glue and keeps the glue toward the tip. So you don't have to keep that shaking business so, so yeah, all right, and this is the prize for sharing my videos. So it's called Making Plans. Um, it's, it could be for um, journaling, but it doesn't have to be. There's other things in there that you can use, um, making lists or, you know, some cool symbols and thank yous and some banners and background pieces. So that's the prizes for sharing and commenting so please have at it <laughs> okay all right so oh last night I had my Monday night live so I didn't give a lot a, a huge heads up on that it was kind of a last minute thing because I messed up on my calendar so but we did um, techniques where um, basically we use blends markers and um, alcohol and yeah we <laughs> They, um, it, this is regular white cardstock, and I just scribbled on a plastic sheet. You can also use a paper plate. And then with blends, so scribbled, 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 spritzed with alcohol spray, and then used my finger, or my glove finger, I'm cleaner today, <laughs> because I washed my hair and my hands. But I just used my finger or a glove finger and swirled that all together, and then pressed onto that plastic sheet, my paper. So you can see this one is Orchid Oasis and Light Blackberry. So very, and I highly recommend when you do this technique to use brighter colors, unless you want a really, really, really subtle um, color. These are bright, dark colors and that's what I got. So um, so they, they, I think you do need to use um, some darker blends color markers when you do that. So I finished some of the cards. So this is one of them. This is um, Lemon Lolly with Peacock, but those colors are not in here. I believe this is Peacock with a Parakeet Party that makes this color. But I felt there was enough yellow in there to get away with that. And here was Mossy Meadow and Old Olive. Can you believe that background? And I used, um, I think it's Granny Apple. I'm not sure if that's Granny Apple or if it's, yeah, I think that's Granny Apple. So here is, oh, maybe it is Lemon or Lemon Lime Twist, sorry. This is uh, Light Blackberry and I'm drawing a blank, Berry Burst. And this one, you can see how different they are. This one, I used cardstock that is balmy blue, but it is this is actually, if I remember right, pretty peacock and, oh gosh, um, oh yeah, it, this was weird. This is um, has a shaded spruce in it. So I decided to use pretty peacock and balmy blue because I thought it works. So basically what I did was all of these pieces that I used were leftover scraps that I had in my scrap bin. So crazy. I didn't want to die cut anything. I think this is the only thing I die cut special. Everything was already done and I just wanted to play. And like I said, I kind of was in a hurry because 
I forgot about the date. I needed to do my um, Stamp With Me Live. So that video is um, on my Facebook page under videos and also will be on my YouTube channel. So you can see how to do that and get the tips on that if you watch that video. So that was last night. And by the way, people who post their card using this technique on my Stamp and Share page will be in the drawing for a free embellishment. Ginny won the prize last night. I don't know if she knows that yet. But um, yeah, so you have to do that by the fourth sun, uh, yes, Sunday in August. You have to share. So another one of my specials is the free Beautifully Happy stamp set with an eight card kit. So this is the eight card kit. Now this is free to people who place an order with me over $65 in July. And I have three of these kits left. I have some more pre-cut kits I might give out um, without stamp set, but I only have three stamp sets that go with the kits left. So get in your order, be sure you need to use the host code to qualify for the free kit. So if you, if you need some things and you want bonus days coupon, get an order over $65 and I'll send you this kit and the free PDF. So by July 31st, while supplies last, now I have three left. So be sure that you, um, you if you're unsure if I have enough, contact me because um, I'll be posting on my Facebook page how many I have left. Okay, I think I covered, oh, inventory update. So the truck punch is still out of stock and will be until October. The also online So Very Merry set, I believe is still out of stock. The Let's Go Shopping dies, Gone Fishing dies, Carousel Horses dies, and the Hey Chuck dies. The Bow Punch is out of stock, and the One Horse Open Sleigh Designer Paper. There's quite a few dies that are low inventory, and when they go out, sometimes it can take a month or two to come in. Crafting With You, Cheerful Daisies, Timeless Arrangements, Zany Zoo and Deckled Rectangle dies. The Countryside Inn Designer Papers are also low in stock, so I don't know if they're gonna run out, and I know they'll order more because it's in the annual catalog, but that's an update on what is um, happening with our current inventory. So I chose the Earth and Elegance Suite to play with today. I hadn't done it yet. I know it's very fall-like, but I thought I could brighten it up just a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna play with and show you today. So there's some great samples in here. It's very, very textural. I'm, I'm um, glad that they, they've um, called it Earthen Textures is the name of the, the bundle that I'll be using today. So because it is extremely textural. So here is the stamp set and here are the dies. So yeah, some of them, like this one, is just texture, and I'll show you how, how I use that in a little bit. But yeah, it's really, really cool, um, the, the ways you can use this. All right, so I was inspired by a card I received from a customer, and I have to show you because it is the coolest idea. I, I want to know how many of you have done this, and how many of you are surprised and like, why didn't I think of that? So this is the card that Vandy sent me um, with a check in it. And I looked at that, those vases, and I thought, what are they made out of? They're glossy and thick. And I'm like, where'd she get that paper? Because it's not in the catalog. I don't know if you can see the shine on that, but it's it's glossy and very thick. So I emailed her back and thanked her for the, the card and the check. And I mentioned it, and she said, those are from a tissue box. Have you ever thought of die cutting from your tissue, your Kleenex box? I thought, oh my gosh, I am going to have to look at my tissue boxes in a whole new light. Because in the ones I have, the patterns are too big and they're not this fun background. But so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be hurrying up and using some of these tissue boxes so I can buy some fun ones. So have you ever done that? I'm just really curious if anyone has used a tissue box. I'm like, well, of course. I mean, we could use cereal boxes, but they're no fun. Well, maybe they could be when you think about all the little fun colors you could do, but tissue boxes. So anyway, she inspired me with her card to use the um, Earth and Textures bundle and suite. 
So I'm going to show you a couple cards I'm not going to make today. <laughs> I'm going to make two. Um, here is one of them. And on this one, I, I wanted to, I didn't want to use any vases. I thought it's all about vases and I wanted to use something that did not show vases. So a little bit of this gold distress paper here. And this little notebook edge is from the gorgeously made um, dies. So I hadn't used it yet and I thought I need a little something on this card. So, and I really like the way, and I did that on this other card. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, this one. So I like to put my bow, the knot, under a greeting. I'm like, I like the, the, the way you see the, um, the loops in the in the tails without the knot. I think that just adds a fun like, oh, instead of just adding that bow on top, add it underneath and try that. Yeah, exactly, Annette, upcycling. Yes, use those things that you usually throw away. And I'm like, okay, here I'm gonna be looking when I buy tissue boxes. <laughs> oh, you do. Oh, you you use them. Um, um, Karen keeps her a piece of tissue boxes before tossing for color inspiration. That's a great idea because Obviously, that's great color inspiration. But anyway, that's one card that I did that I'm not going to make today. I thought, I, you, you know how to do that. So here's another one. Now this one I wanted to use a lot of die cuts, and I did. Now here is that pretty gold distressed paper that we were out of for a long time. And here is the uh, wavy natural trim, I think. Let's see. Uh, yeah, wavy trim that was also unavailable for a long time. Really cool textural element. Now this piece right here, I'm going to show you how to do that one in one of the cards. But um, but yeah, and there's, let's see where the die's at. I can show you. So the handles on this vase are this piece right there. So I put them underneath instead of on top. These right here are this piece right there, just some sticks. You know how people put sticks in a vase? So um, let's see, and the neat thing about this set, here's that one right there that uh, die cuts or presses, creases in the die cut. So you can pop it up and make it really textural and, and um, yeah, it's just beautiful. So I stamped them, the vases, in Pretty Peacock and sponge, or used my blending brush, a little bit of color, a little bit of the, I, checked, I stayed with two colors for the most part, and this is Pecan Pie with uh, Pretty Peacock. I thought they went really well together. So, um, okay, so now let's get into the first card. It was very, very simple, um, but I, I liked it. I liked the simplicity and that little pop of gold. So let's make that card really quick. I just stamp it. The neat thing I wanted to show you is when you, and this is the wrong color, but when you stamp the vase image, it does not leave a white edge. Most of the dyes we have leave that white edge. This one does not. It it leaves it. It's completely a vase without any any edges. So I really like that. It's not very common in our um, Stampin' Up bundles. Okay, clean up my area here a little bit. Okay, we're just going to simply stamp some of my the favorite image. Of course, is the feathers. I really like the feathers. So we're going to estimate where that vase is. And when I'm stamping with this long skinny tail, I'm putting pressure up here and just kind of letting this. I still see a little bit of extra pressure there, but if you don't want your, your stamp to buckle and roll, put your pressure on the thicker area and just kind of let this touch. Now I'm not gonna re-ink. I'm gonna go a little higher and then I think I will re-ink and stamp off and go a little lower. Can't go too low or I'll be below my vase. So that's a nice full image. And I did already, oh, wait, I'm gonna do the inside as well. Let's see what I did. Just a few feathers. I did already heat emboss my greeting. 
there's a lot of nice thank yous in this. So when I do a stamp and then a stamp off, I usually go lower because inevitably there's that line that you missed when you stamp, when you go to an edge. So you always wanna go a slightly bit lower so you don't have that, that line that was the edge of the paper. So that's what I usually do when I, um, I stamp, a, tw stamp off and stamp <laughs> um, twice because you will, you will see that edge um, inevitably. So we'll put the inside in here. And as you know, I like to have my inside pieces. I know I mentioned this last night's video. This is my template for using the best use of your white cardstock. So I make my first cut at four and three quarters, and then I make three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. And then I have to cut off this little skinny piece to make these three and a half wide, and I cut off at, and I measure these at four and three quarters. And I have this piece that's not used and this little bit. So this one I can use for a greeting or a layer or something, but it's great use of your paper, your cardstock for inside layers and the fronts as well. So it's what I always do on the inside because um, you don't need to fill up four inches by five and a quarter on the inside. Why not make great use of your, your cardstock? Okay, so show the front of the card. Now again, this is that pretty gold, uh, distressed paper that's in the annual catalog. And I think it's great for the base. And I'm putting it on the front instead of the back because I really like this paper to show. Okay. Actually, I think I need to slide it up a little bit. And that's the, the beauty of using the um, liquid glue because you can maneuver these pieces quite a bit. All right, just make sure my layers are good. I, um, yeah, I know I put my glue on the other side that most people do not, but I don't feel I need to put my glue way to the edge and this helps it so it doesn't sneak out. And you can do it on the other side too, but you don't need to put it on the edge and then have this, this glue that can sneak out a little bit. It's just really not necessary. So we'll put, um, in my opinion, put some dimensionals here, cover up my ends. And then I think I'll use my minis for this one. And put one here and one here because I want it to hang off the vase. There, get my bone folder out, make this card lined, and that card is done. Now I considered adding some gold pearls or gold rhinestone or um, gold sequins, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to do that. I really like the gold accents here where it pulls together, but I'm just not sure where I want to do that thought about putting them up in the corner or putting them scattered and I, I just I think I might just leave this one alone so that's the first card sorry there's your um your measurements now I do want to point out that this white piece is a quarter of an inch shorter and and uh, in size than, on all sides than the inside piece and that allows this piece to be my template so this is the pretty peacock is the three and a half by four and three quarter. So that means I could make five layers of both peacock and white for a card. So this layout, this measurements, I know it's really, really simple card, but think how many you could make and how well you could use your, your paper, your cardstock. So, you know, just think about that sometimes when you're saying, I need a bunch of thank you cards and, or I need birthday cards. Think about your layers and how well you're using your paper. And you know, if you're not a saver, that's fine. I'm kind of a, a thrifty gal, so so I <laughs> I do like like to save when I can, when it really won't make much difference. Okay, so the next card is I'll put these aside a little bit. I haven't made it yet, but I have an idea. So I did pre-stamp everything, <laughs> and I'm gonna 
gonna kind of wing it with you. So um, I am using, let's see, I believe it's this one right here. Now you're gonna say, well, where's all the speckled coming from? Well, I textured it with the timeless, this is, no, it's this one right here, with the timeless, um, time-worn type embossing folder. Then I'm like, I need, I want to, I want to see the texture. It's a little bit plain. So I'm like, we don't have a sanding block. I didn't have one in my little stash of goodies. So I decided to find something to rest that on. And I just used the edge of my scissors and kind of um, roughed it up. And I, I know many of you probably have a sanding block or an emery board or whatever, but if you're in a pinch and you don't want to get up <laughs> from your, your workplace, this works too. Okay, so this is three inches by five and a half. So you can get, um, let's see, eight of these, of your designer paper from one 12 by 12 piece of paper. So we're just going to glue this on to our card base. And this is Whisper White. Kind of centering that. Okay, so now this piece right here, this is that die cut that I mentioned that has the scoring lines in it. So what I did was pinched these as best I could and traveled up a little bit. And then I took a sponge dauber and with a little bit of Pretty Peacock ink and sponged that. So I left one without so I could show you. So I'm just going to, and this is basic white, just plain basic white cardstock. Pinch as much as I can without getting too close to the center. And then just sponge. So it really adds texture. How I got the background, let's see where did I put my stamp set? I stamped this one on the die cut. I think before I die cut, I stamped just a little piece of paper uh, cardstock and I stamped this with Pretty Peacock with stamping off a couple times and then I just sponged the whole thing. So my layout in my head, this is that textural piece. Um, I keep moving my dies away. Oh, here they are. So this is this right here. So I just wanted a little bit of texture in it, but then I hadn't used this piece yet. So I think I'm going to add that like right here and then just trim it off. I'm trying to think if that's about where I want it. Okay. It's a little smear of glue here and there. Kind of want to get to the edges so it doesn't come loose or lift up. And that looks about right. So I'll let that dry. I wanted this to be plain. Oh, that looks a little crooked. Plain white because I have color everywhere else. So, my fingers are now sticky. This one, I decided that I want to have white handles. So I'm gonna add glue to that. I really love this handle piece. Now what a lot of people are doing um, for these cards, they are using this right here for their die cuts and having the vase, I think it goes like this having the vase have that natural ceramic look of drips. So that's what that, a lot of people are using that designer paper. In fact, a lot of vases are being used for all of these, these um, Earth and Elegance designer papers. Okay, so I remember right, now I'm gonna trim this up now that the glue's a little bit more dry. Oh, yeah, that's pretty gluey. Every now and then I take an alcohol um, wipe and I clean my scissors from all the glue that I inadvertently get on my scissors. So that's pretty cool, right? Okay, so my plan was to put that one here, this one there, come on, it's a little bit gluey, and this one here. Maybe I wanna go up a little bit and then down. Okay, now this one, my plan was to have that like that. Nothing's gonna be in that base. This one's gonna go like that. This one, I think, I'm not sure if I want it in there. No, I want, it, I want them all in this one. The other bases have nothing. 
but how to layer these. I think that looks pretty good. And then this is my greeting, gonna go across the front. And I'm simply going to cut an angle and just match my, my angle with um, the scissors, turn it around, and that will likely go right there. Okay, I think I'm happy. And then this gets flattened. So first of all, we're gonna glue this flat without any dimensionals, right on the edge. It's white, it's almost a, what they call a monochromatic um, card. I think this, one, this one's gonna be popped up. Oh, I'm gonna pop this one up too, just cause I can. So I saw a card like this on Pinterest and that's what I'm going with. Okay, and then this one's gonna be low, but I have to put these first because if once I add my dimensionals, I can't add these. So it's kind of a, a guessing game of where, oh, I didn't mention this. This right here is this image and I just cut it in half. Once I die, I stamped it, stamped it and then after I die cut it, I just cut it off. I didn't, stamp, I didn't use the whole piece. And then I stamped this right on the edge for a little, um, little something on that base so it's not quite so plain. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a dimensional on the back of this. I probably should use a mini, but I'm not going to and add that right like that. So cool, love that one. All right, now I have to kind of guess where these are going to go without putting that vase down first. Cause like I said, the dimensionals that I'm gonna use under that vase are going to be, um, put that one like that. Love the fact this is my favorite die cut. I want that one to be kind of high. Okay, this one's gonna be lower. We'll see. See what we think about this white on, on Bermuda, or Bermuda, hmm, I miss Bermuda. The white and pretty peacock. Oh, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. A little bit down the center. Kind of spread that out a little bit. Okay, add some dimensionals to this. And we're close to being done. I did not plan the inside. <laughs> okay, that one's gonna go a little lower just to offset the other vase. Oh, so pretty. And then this will go right across there. What do you think? I love it. But I, I always like monochromatic cards. They're just so elegant. There's something about white with a little color. Now I'm just gonna add a little glue on that side because this is already popped up, so I don't need any more pop-ups. Okay, there we go. Now, what do we think about embellishments? <sighs> I don't have any gold on here. I have these sequins that have both white and peacock. What do you think? Some people are putting something right in the center. I'm not sure how I feel about that. If that belongs there, let's just see what we think. What do you think? Does that belong there? Kind of draws your eye to it, I have to admit. Now, the other thing I could do is kind of embellish the vase a little bit with some things, but I don't know. Maybe I just want to do some, some scattered Let's see what we think of these. Some scattered white. Who's on board with this scattering business that I'm doing? I don't want to put that there because it's directly in line. Hmm. Maybe up here? What do we think? Do we like this? It is a pretty card, I do really like it. There is something about a monochromatic card that just adds an elegance to your project. So I would encourage you, this one's a little bit crooked, I have to say. Let me see if I can lift that up. 
If you go slow, sometimes it works. Oh, they're sticky. There you go. So I'm just gonna twist it a little bit, make that a little straighter. I think it works. Yes, y'all like it? Okay, all right. I think it's beautiful, sorry. I, <laughs> I just love, I do love what I do, there's no doubt. <laughs> okay, here are my cards today. I didn't make all of them, but I'm gonna include um, Vandy's card as well because I think it's just fabulous. So that is the Earthen Textures um, bundle and Earthen Texture, Earthen Elegance Suite. So how many of you have that and how many of you want it now? <laughs> if it's so, I did my job. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I you know, the vases, they're just so unusual. I, we've had vases in the past, but not with the fun little elements and the textures and the really cool die cuts. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked with it. I think they're really pretty, really pretty cards. So and just kind of a different um, sweet. I mean, just just textural and uh, botanical in a way. And yeah. Anyway, so you do have the sweet Janet. Awesome. Yeah, it is pretty. It is really pretty. So I think that's it. I will um, see you next week Tuesday. Um, that'll be the first, August 1st. We are almost down to the end of July. And don't forget to share and comment on the video to be in the door prize drawing for next week. So thanks so much for, for watching. I appreciate you all and I'm glad to see you. And don't forget to give me some, some hearts and some likes and follow me either on my YouTube channel or my Facebook um, page so, so you don't miss anything. All right, thanks so much, everybody. I appreciate you. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye.